We're going to cover in this video how you can speed up Firefox, make it load faster, and possibly require less memory to operate. So let's get right to it. Um, one of the things I'm bad about, and I know a lot of you die-hard Firefox users are bad about, is downloading all kinds of extensions and loading it into Firefox thinking they're so great and all, completely forgetting they have them and never using them. Well, even though you're not using that extension, Firefox is having to load that extension every single time it starts. And it's loaded into memory, which requires more memory, so it's becoming a resource hog. So let's do the obvious and go through and disable some of these extensions we're not using. You can do this by going to your Firefox menu and clicking Tools and coming down to Add-ons. And within Add-ons, you have a list of all the extensions currently installed, as long as you have your extensions menu highlighted. And you can scroll down this list and look at the ones that are currently in use, and you can either uninstall them or disable them. I usually just disable them because these things are usually fairly small. And sometimes I download an extension realizing I only need it for a project and I don't need it to run every time but I might want to do it again in the future. So the best thing to do is find that extension that you want to just disable. Just click on it. And then you have a disable button. Click the disable and then it will come up and say this add-on will be disabled when Firefox is restarted meaning that it's currently loaded but next time you restart Firefox it will not be loaded and that's what you want. So go through this list, you really can't harm anything as long as you're disabled. If you uninstall then you lost it. If you disable it's there, it's just not being loaded. And you can always go back and re-enable it. Another benefit of doing this is each time, well many times when Firefox has started, Firefox should go through all these extensions and go on the web and check for updates. This will slow the initial load time of Firefox and require more memory. So now that this is done, we can do the next step. We want to go ahead and um, set Firefox's caching. We want to change how it caches. And what I mean by that is when you browse the internet, Firefox will try to keep the last few pages that you visited in memory. So if you hit the back button, these pages are almost instant. And that's a very great feature to have. But if you don't use that that often, you're tying up memory resources all the time. So we can disable this fairly easy. So click in your address bar up top where you normally type in like www.domain.com. Clear out everything out of that bar. We're going to type in that bar. Config. Whoops, sorry. About colon config. The configuration screen will open up. Don't be intimidated. Uh, there's a lot of options here, but we're going to make this easier by clicking in the filter and typing browser dot session history. And that is browser dot session history. Now you might have numerous choices pop up, but the only one we're really concerned with is the one that says max total viewers. So highlight that and double click it. It's usually defaulted to negative one. We want to change it to zero. That would change the caching of Firefox. So that's all there is to there. Doing that. The next way to speed, speed up Firefox, in my opinion, is through a plugin called Faster Fox. Now, Faster Fox, you just go to fasterfox.mozdev.org. That stands for Mozilla.org. But so fasterfox.mozdev.org. Scroll down and download or install Faster Fox. Now, Faster Fox will also use more memory if we're not careful because its default configuration, once you install it, you have a menu at the bottom for Faster Fox. Its default configuration comes to turbocharge. This is where we run into the caching again, like it did with the other page um, that we just changed with the max total viewers because it's storing everything in memory. So, I would change this to optimize and that's as far as I would go because it's tweaking some network settings it is changing how it handles certain factors on a page that's a very good plugin to use it's very easy to do so this is faster fox 
Once you've done this, your Firefox should load faster, should consume less memory, and should overall perform slightly faster browsing. So